Hi everyone, my name is Roti B. Adedokun. I thank you for your subscription into our YouTube channel, for following us on Twitter, and for visiting our blog, thesecret101home.com. Today, I'll be speaking to you on the power of continuity. I repeat, the power of continuity. You know, Paul the Apostle said in Acts chapter 26, verse 22, he said, having therefore obtained help from God, I continue unto this day. You know, if a powerful hero, a powerful mentor, and a powerful man can say that, that he obtained help from God, that's why he continued to say, I think everyone, you and I need continuity to be a success. You know, in the school of success, one not continuity. So, like I said, everyone needs continuity you need continuity to keep your marriage continuity to continue in your career continuity to make your marriage work continuity to get out of debt continuity to keep your relationship so like i said today we will be speaking on the power on continuity sit back relax even as you listen you know whatever that makes you whatever that discontinues you we finally discourage it. So the only aim of your enemy in life is to discontinue you. And when you are discontinued, you'll be discouraged. And when you are discouraged, you will never have impact. So when courage is in doubt, life will be vulnerable and your vision will disappear like a perfect smoke in the air. So everything in life, you might start something, it's not a problem, but are you going to end it? You might start that relationship, are you going to end it? You might start that marriage, are you going to end it? So every day, I want you to think about continuity. Don't hand like a smoke. I want you to hand your life as a stone. So I have divided this topic into three major parts. The first one, which I'll be doing today, I call it the definition of continuity. The second one, which I'm going to be next week, is going to be the nuggets of continuity and the uh, next upper week is going to be the charge for continuity today i think i have like 15 definitions that i have put together of on continuity one i said continuity is the way out of every impossibility so think about it everything that you think is impossible today a whole product or can be traceable to your to, to your failure ability to say no i'm not doing this again when you continue i promise you everything is going to be possible for you the second one i call it continuity is the ability not to give up until you find locate and create solution to the challenges of your life so when you refuse to let go when you refuse to to to, to let situation to win you when you refuse to allow the, the the environment to determine your life but you said no i'm going to find a solution to it you know i'm going to locate a solution to it you know i'm going to get out get an answer to this question that is what they call continuity these are the, that's number two definition that i have on my list here on the definition of continuity three continuity is the power that refuses to let go no you fly it's about a fight you know life is a warfare it is not a fun fair life is a boot camp it's not a summer camp you have to you have to put every of your being in every of your life if you want to an, an amount to anything in life so continuity i said the third definition that is the power that refuses to let go number four the continuity is the force that keeps life going. Let me tell you something. Everything we ask you to stop. If you have saved money from January to now, something is going to come up. Unexpected circumstances is going to come up. But when you say, no, I've decided that I'm going to keep this amount of money for the rest of this year. That's what they call continuity. It's a fight that you need to fight. A fight that must be won. A winning that must be sustained. That's what continuity is all about. So number five definition, the continuity attract the future and establish zeal for more so 
every time that you continue that you refuse to be stagnated you are moving towards your future and when you are moving towards your future you're going to be established for more how do i mean if you do one thing right you're going to be qualified for more so if you don't stop on one thing regardless of what you're going to write today you're going to get to something else and more opportunity is going to come your way number six as a continuity is the inner force that keeps the fire burning and, and empowers you to the end. Continuity is the inner force. Until you have something inside of you, that is when you're going to keep going outside of you. I will say that again. Until you have something inside of you, if there is nothing inside, you will never produce anything outside. Inside determines outside. We all know it's no more in news that spirituality is one that determines your physicality, right? So the same thing, as continuity is the force inside of you that keeps the fire, your fire burning and empowers you to the end. You know, until you get to the end, your beginning doesn't make sense. Until you get to the end, your life does not have value. Until you get to the end, there is nothing that can be attached to your greatness. Greatness will be far from you. You know, results will be away from you. And greatness, will never, you will never smell it. If you don't get to the end so continuity is the force that empowers you to get to the end so number seven continuity is a fuel of life you know as gas to a car so continuity is to life as gas to a car so continuity is for life so continuity for his life number eight continuity is a spiritual virtue which empowered champions to leverage with the intent of getting to the end you know anything in life that you can you, you can see in other people they are all product of continuity when if can you imagine god give up and not an end is is creation on the fifth day that means there's not going to be any human being <laughs> that's how simple it is so when you continue to the end you're going to get something special so anybody that you call champion today they are all leveraging on continuity how do i mean you will most of the football uh, soccer player that we see today they train minimum of eight hours anybody that work in uh, let's say in u.s military and the deployment they work minimum of 12 8 to 12 hours everything that you see in life is the product of something that you put in life so champions are nobody but they are somebody that leverage on what they call continuity with the intent of getting to see the end number nine definition say continuity is one of the tools of winning war there's gonna be war around you people is gonna hate you for no reason you're gonna be in debt for no reason there's gonna be challenge in your marriage but you know what when you continue loving when you continue pushing and if you don't stop taking each step every day you are leveraging on the war too and it's called continuity number 10 continuity is the force that silent mockers and destroy the intent of your position so no matter how powerful your enemies are no matter how powerful how many people that don't want you to go forward but if you do something keep doing what god has placed in your hand keep moving towards the direction God has showed you. Let me tell you something, you're gonna wear down your enemy. I repeat that, that definition of number 10, that continuity is the force that silence your mockers and destroy the intent of your position. Number 11, continuity is the secret that initiates unhandy results. Isn't that powerful? When you keep moving, it's like sowing a seed. It won't make sense when you're doing it. But if you don't stop doing it, there is something that you're going to be attracting. And when you get to the end, you might think you are going for one thing, but if you continue, continue and get to the end, you are actually sowing the seed to attract more things. So continuity is a secret that, at, that initiates an ending result. An ending result. What you're doing today are product of what your children and children and children will be taking from. So number 12, continuity is the ability to refuse to stop regardless of the prevailing circumstances. When you're on your way to success, when you're on the, you the road to greatness, so many things are going to call your attention. You know, 
there's one of my words that I put together on continuity. If you search my name on Google and put continuity, there's going to come with you, for you so many things that I've written on continuity. So, everything in life is going to call you. I said every side attraction, a distraction. That I'm going to be discussing below. Focus is one of the key that you need in life. So, if you refuse to let go, everything in life is going to come and give you power, support you to the end. So continuity is the ability to refuse to stop regardless of the prevailing circumstances. Number 13, continuity retrieves joy and releases you into your greatness. Continuity retrieves your joy and releases you from sadness. I mean, when you matter what you're doing, if you continue, you're going to have an inner joy because you can see the end down the line. When the more you move closer, the closer you are to the end. I will take that again. The more you move in life, the closer you are to the end. Refuse to be where you are. Refuse to sit down where you are. Anybody that sit down will never stand up. And if you don't stand up, you will never stand out. If you sit down, you will never stand up. And if you don't stand up, you will never stand up. So refuse it. Refuse it. Your joy is in your future. Don't stay here. Your sadness is loaded in what you are sitting down to do right now. So when you stand up and move, there is something waiting for you. Number 14 definition that I have on my list here for the continuity is that continuity sweeps away frustration and embraces peace. Isn't that powerful? So you are frustrated right now because you are sitting uh, sitting around what is not designed for you. No matter where you are, don't care about the, 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 what, the red that you are seeing in your bank account. Don't worry, you can't pay your rent. Don't worry, your wife is disrespectful or your children are the best. When you keep sowing your seed on your, ch on your children, you're going to see the best of them. Everything that you see in life, they are all product of continuity. So you are frustrated today because you don't want to go home. You, you don't want to go ahead. You don't want to keep moving. You are not you are not in peace today because you are stagnated, you are frustrated, you want to quit out of your decision. I want to tell you today, if you continue, you're going to be away from frustration and you're going to embrace peace. Number 15, first, uh, continuity is the force that buries failure and brings success alive. Isn't that powerful? Think about it. You are failing your finances. I'm telling you, we can start all over again. You're going to bury that failure. I promise you. I've been there. I'm a product of what I'm speaking. I don't just say what I don't know. All these 15 definitions among many are what that have happened to me. I don't just copy something from a book or listen to somebody to come and share with you. All the definitions here are what I've passed through. And what I'm saying, I'm a product of what I'm saying. That's why I want you to go through this video, learn about it. It's going to be of help to you. I promise you. Number 15, I repeat again, continuity is the force that buries failure and brings success alive. So, any of those definitions, the one that matters to you, down the law, I want you to explain it and let me know how it matters to you. But as I end today, in this first part of uh, the power of continuity, let me give you the five secrets of continuity. Five secrets of continuity. One, everything is available. If you are able, isn't that powerful? You want to get married? I'm going to tell you something. The right man is waiting for you. The right woman is waiting for you. You need a job? The right job is waiting for you. I'm telling you, everything is available if you're able. If you're able to do what? If you're able to continue to keep searching for that opportunity, to keep moving to get to your greatness, to keep going. If you lose something, it means that thing is not meant for you. So I want you to stand up and try again. So the first secret of continuity here is that everything is available if you are able. Able to do what? Able to continue. Number two, entitlement in life are functional of your endurance to the things of life. That's powerful. Think about it again. Entitlement in life. Or you can personalize it. Your entitlement in life are functions of your endurance to the things of life. Everything in life is going to bring challenge to you. They're going to question you. 
They said, you said you're going to be the richest man. Show us now. You cannot even afford to pay your car loan. You cannot even afford to pay your house rent. But I want to tell you something. Entitlement in life a function of your endurance, ability to continue to say, no, it's looking like this today. That is not what God told me. You continue to push. You continue to move. You continue to forge ahead. I'm telling you, you will get there. Nobody that keeps you moving that will not get to where they are going. So I'm going to tell you today that whatever you are entitled to in life are all function of what you endure about life. So keep moving. You will get there. Number three of the secret of continuity. Number three is a continued, continuous labor we attract on ending favor. That's powerful. Continuous labor we attract on ending favor. There are some things that some of us are doing right now that our child, our generation coming after us will not be able to labor again. Why? Because you are sowing a seed in life. Don't worry. Save that money. Don't spend it. Don't worry. You don't need to invest so much in that car. Buy the little one and save that money. I know what I'm talking about. Your continuing, your continuous labor, we are trapped on handing favor. There's a favor that is waiting up for you in the future, but it demands your continuous labor today. Number four, focus is the major ingredient in the making of continuity. So every side attraction and distraction you know i told you in the beginning i'll be saying that to you whatever that is calling your attention right now you don't need it it is one thing at a time when you keep going to that towards that one thing before you know it you're going to be a voice before you know it you're going to be the champion before you know it, you're going to be a winner and you will have something to show for it the last one here as i round up until you follow through you may not go through you have to follow through see the hand of everything by reason of your continuity something is coming your way that is why god started to pull this together for you and if you don't stop i promise you you are going there until you follow through you may not go through to go through to what until you go through what you need to go through you will never get what you need to work to get without testimony in life life is just mere talk that's why we in churches to share testimony to say once this is what happened to me now i did this and this is the result so the same thing i come to tell you today that you can do it great thing can happen to you you can continue remember what i said what paul said in Acts chapter 26 verse 22 he said i haven't obtained help from god i continue to this day so i know you need god's help you can't do it on your own so if you believe that is god's help that you need to continue subscribe down and email me i will pray with you and uh, i will continue to tell you what it is that you need to do haven't done what you need to do thank you and have a nice day like i said my name is rotimi adedokun please visit our blog www.thesecret101home.com and uh, follow us on Twitter, Adidokun Har, and on Facebook, Rotimi Adidokun. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye.